What's going on? My name is Dustin Smith, better known as Bones, and welcome to Bonesy TV, where today we're doing a full review on this Maxon catch cool. This thing's pretty crazy. Now before we dive into just how crazy this glove is, we kind of have to talk about who Maxon hockey even is. Now just looking at this glove, you can tell it's not your typical catch glove. And I wouldn't say Maxon is necessarily your typical goalie brand. They sent this to me as a prototype to test out. And just at a quick glance, this glove probably looks a little familiar to some of you. Those of you that are familiar with the brand Reason Why, this is going to be a kind of glove that you're already familiar with especially since it's built by the same people. We're talking about Maxon specifically, which uh, I think is how it's pronounced. I, I'm not exactly sure. They are basically the ice hockey version of Reason Why. And then of course there's Rollheim, which is specifically the roller hockey version. Now, before we dive into all the wild specs and just how crazy this glove actually is, especially under the hood, uh, talking about Maxon as a brand specifically, they really are trying to break the mold here. I mean, everything they do is very unique to uh, their brand. They're really breaking away from all the traditional uh, glove types when we talk about glove breaks and angles and uh, closures, and then even more specifically, just size and shape. I mean, this is a very unique looking glove and a very unique performing glove. They really are out there with the purpose of completely breaking the mold and creating something very unique, which personally I think they have absolutely uh, achieved. This is the most unique glove I've ever experienced. So let's go ahead and check out what's going on uh, with this glove. Now again, at first look, this is gonna look very similar to a reason or reason why glove, but of the first thing that I notice is just how massive uh, this pocket is. I mean, it is absolutely, this is huge. The other thing is how extremely thin uh, the cuff is here, which is something that I've never seen in any other glove before. It's just, like, this is just extremely thin here in the cuff, and they boast of no stingers in their gloves, so uh, they really try to get the maximum amount of protection with the minimal amount of material used here. I mean, again, like super thin and um, I'll be diving into the protection of the glove here in a minute. But again, just taking a general look at the glove. This is again a prototype that they have sent to me. So the graphic itself is a prototype. And uh, as we go through the glove, you kind of see some pieces that definitely show that it is a prototype but I mean honestly when it comes to the graphic I'm I'm not mad at this graphic at all I mean of course the colors are right up my alley with the uh the Preds colors we got the sport gold and the navy I really like the weave that they have added uh right here into the navy and then of course they've got their logo right there across the cuff and um yeah I mean for a prototype this is a pretty aesthetically pleasing Love. And then, of course, with my entire setup, especially my, my true setup, it does really fit the, the look that I have personally. So uh, visually, it's a unique looking glove right away with how big the pocket is, how thin the cuff is. But um, I do like the look that they have going here. Of course, here across the uh, the back of the finger protection here, we have Renegade. They also have their uh, Heretic branded gloves, which... Uh, they talk a lot about on their Instagram, if you're lucky enough to be a part of their Instagram, which is another whole thing with their brand as being very exclusive uh, to people that are open to uh, unique experiences like this and not close-minded to um, just the traditional norms of how goalie gear is supposed to be made. Again, a lot of very unique things going on here. We also see this cool uh, X logo right here on the back of the cuff, uh, which is very open you know this cuff is extremely large and it definitely allows for some pretty extreme wrist mobility which again we'll be diving into uh here shortly but you know as you can see here the glove really presents itself really well but speaking of presenting itself the closure on this glove is a dream it absolutely is the easiest glove to close that I've experienced, but also you do get this very thin feel with obviously, uh, you know, we talked about the thin cuff. It kind of has that same feeling throughout the entire glove, but 
the closure is crazy. But going more into the closure specifically, I personally feel like it's more of a thumb to fingers closure as opposed to a finger to thumb closure. Maybe even like kind of a little bit in the middle, but in my experiences so far, it's kind of been more of a thumb to finger closure. Uh, but look at this, this closure angle. It's absolutely extreme. Like I've said it in other videos with Casimir Kaskasuo, who I let try out this glove already. And um, this is a glove of extremes, extremely thin, extremely large pocket, extreme closure. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Like the closure on this is insane. But when I go to talk about kind of how it performs and how it feels on the ice, this is a bit of a factor is um, how the glove actually closes. But now it's time to go under the hood of this glove, which there is so much going on under here. And honestly, I don't even think I've completely taken it apart yet because I was almost worried that I wasn't going to be able to put it back together. <laughs> That's just how in depth uh, everything goes under the hood here. So um, let's go ahead and crack this thing open. We'll kind of walk through this whole thing together and see just how much is going on in this glove. Obviously a very unique glove from the outside. Uh, on the inside, I would say it's even more unique, but uh, we'll, we'll check it out. So start this whole thing off. This thing opens up right here at the top. And we are presented with this uh, kind of wrist strap and I have it loosened up all the way, uh, which is kind of something that I'll also talk about, you know, when I get on the ice with it and, and how I use it and everything like that. But here we have this wrist strap that you can really tighten down. I mean, they, they really made it a very customizable glove. You can wear it however you want. And uh, this wrist strap, you can make it very, very tight or you can leave it nice and loose. Um, and then under the wrist strap, we have this exposed foam, which is another reason why I'm led to believe that this is definitely a prototype. Uh, but we have a huge thick piece of foam here for added protection, comfort, and uh, from there, we also open this. So this comes off. You can also adjust this, move it around however you want, but this is gonna help us uh, open up the rest of the glove. But diving into, I think the most unique thing that I've seen in a glove is opening up the thumb protection. This whole piece right here, Velcro opens up and this whole thing opens up and we can see now the entire thumb and uh, we got our thumb loop here. We got a lot of elastic going on right in here for the thumb loop. And then this is kind of a little uh, preview to what we can do with the palm specifically. So uh, continuing on to, we're not even, we're not even done opening this thing. We're still opening this glove up. Obviously the top of the finger protection here where we have the uh, Renegade brand aid. This opens up to now open the entire glove, which opens very similar to a hood of a car. Man, there you have. This glove is now completely opened up and we get to see everything um, under the hood. Like I said, we got our wrist strap right here. This is kind of that uh, over the hand strap right here also loops around to what is a customizable option here. We can adjust the length that we want this wrist strap to be. We can have it nice and tight. Uh, that'll sit up higher up on the wrist or we can adjust it lower. So a lot of adjustability already in this glove uh, with that wrist strap. And then like uh, a lot of other gloves, we have this over the finger strap. Again, we can adjust the comfort on this. Uh, a lot of this is a very comfortable foam pad right here. Of course, you can adjust the tightness of this specifically. And then now we get a really good look at the finger stalls right here, which is something that you notice right away when you put this glove on. You know, you go try to find those individual finger stalls, but uh, you get only three finger stalls for your fingers here. So your hand would kind of fit in there, something like this. So you got one stall for your pinky and 
ring finger, and then obviously your middle finger and pointer finger. But again, we see that elastic, very bungee, stretchy material. And then the material on the actual palm itself is uh, a very soft, again, comfortable material. So definitely a lot of comfort going on here. Very unique look, but we can go even further with this and we can completely remove this entire palm. So now this can be taken out, it can be washed. If there's any repairs that need to be done to this specifically, obviously this can be removed and this can be fixed instead of having to replace the whole glove. Something that I do really like because there's a lot of times where my glove gets absolutely disgusting and I would love to be able to just watch the individual components. Uh, but obviously we got a lot going on right now. Setting the palm to the side, taking a look at just the glove itself. I don't remember if this is the over the hand strap or uh, which strap this even is, but this seems to be a bit adjustable. You can move that however you want. This is the actual exposed part of the glove. Like this is the glove itself. There's not really like foams in here. You know, we're not feeling any kind of extra padding in this glove, like this is it very thin all the way through and like I said earlier when you when you're wearing the glove it does feel like a very thin glove that's because it is like this this is it this is everything you see here <laughs> is the glove there's not much going on under the material here obviously you get some padding here in the palm and I would like to think that this could also be customizable I don't know if that's a thing or not with this being a prototype uh, you have to think that this is a possibility to add some extra protection here in the removable palm. But the other thing with the removable palm is to be able to customize how you want this glove to close. Considering this is the first time I've taken this apart, because it can, we're gonna put it back together here. Am I gonna put it back together correctly? I don't know, we'll see. Uh, but when you put this back together, you can uh, tweak it around and customize it to how you like it and how you want it to close. A lot of customizability under the hood here. I mean, I gotta say this is the most unique glove I've seen when you open things up. Okay, now we gotta try put this thing back together. We got the palm back in there. I'm gonna go ahead and loop the adjustable wrist strap through. This was that strap under there that I was talking about earlier. Wasn't exactly sure where it went. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. All right, now, uh, this one, the over the finger strap, that's gonna go through here. So, uh, where does this guy go? Ah, I just remembered. It went through here. Duh. We're gonna have to hit the replay on this one. Because I gotta be honest, I have no idea where that strap goes. But putting the thumb back together, nice and simple with that. And it is kind of cool to see the thumb protection here. Very strong, very sturdy, and you know, not a look that you get with uh, other gloves. You don't really get to see even down in that, that finger saw, that thumb loop. But uh, very cool to kind of see that field would be dismantled. Man, I am still curious where that strap went. I could have sworn it went through there. Well, oh. <laughs> now part of the reason why I wanted to do this on camera is that I can go back and uh, make sure that I put this back together correctly. But uh, yeah, in closing this whole thing up, go ahead and spin this around, putting this big protective foam back down there. This closes back over the cuffs. Now we finish things off, tying down the hood locking it all back together and there you have a uh, reassembled maxon catch glove feel wise feels like i didn't completely mess it up even that over the hand strap it does feel like there's a little more room in there but i could always reach in here and tighten up that wrist strap and that's nice and secure. I mean, that's on. With that wrist strap, you can really lock that in. But there you go. I mean, that is under the hood of the Maxon catch glove. Again, the most unique 
glove that I've ever experienced. We haven't even gotten into how it performs and how it plays and everything like that. This is just the glove in general. There's so much going on here. Another thing that I, oh, sorry, forgot how tight I had this wrist up, man. Now, we haven't even gotten into the T, uh, a very, I would say flimsy T, but that's part of the design. Now, when we talk about how to play the puck, which we'll get into later, this is definitely something that is meant to happen, but something that Matt from Gold Crease Guardian had pointed out and wanted to ask is how this affects how the glove catches, which I will dive into later. But another thing that I want to note about the T, more specifically the spine here, is how it is attached to the rest of the glove. This kind of has, is reminiscent of a floating tee. Let me rip this open for you. And then we can take a better look at this tee. Uh, uh, hopefully the overview here gets a better look, but it is very much of a floating tee. So something that we've seen from other brands, other glove companies have done the floating tee before and just kind of really goes back to that unique build of this glove. Um, definitely stepping away from the traditional build of a goalie catch glove so different from everybody else which again is kind of the whole point of this brand and uh the whole point of this glove in general all right bonzi enough of this talk about the glove in general enough of this looking at it and whatever how does it feel how does it perform how does it catch pucks at the end of the day that's the whole point of this glove is to catch pucks so does it catch pucks now i will say this is not love at first catch this is a very unique glove and it catches with a very unique feel so again not love at first catch but look at this freaking pocket man like this thing is an absolute vacuum so anything that goes even near this pocket it's gonna get sucked up the angle that this glove has going into the pocket anything that hits even close to this is again gonna get sucked right up you can see uh these puck marks going into the glove obviously had a few pucks that hit the palm so i'll be talking about the protection here in a minute but yes this glove does catch pucks it is not something that you get used to right away it does take a little bit getting used to but yes this thing does absolutely gobble pucks up now getting into the t which again my buddy matt from gold crease guardian had asked does the T fold in when you're catching pucks? And I will say that it has happened to me and I have seen it happen with Kaz when he tried this glove out. So yes, it does happen. The, the T does fold in, but again, that is part of the design of this T is for the glove to uh, kind of fold in when you're playing pucks. Again, something I'll talk about uh, here in a minute. But that all being said, we have to ask the question, is this glove protective? Now, Maxon says that this glove has zero stingers, that this is going to be just as protective as any other glove on the market, with obviously a fraction of the material used being so thin. So does this glove actually protect your hand? And in the short answer, yes. <laughs> All right, protection's okay. This thing offers a shocking amount of protection considering it is super lightweight and very thin. As you can see, there are these puck marts like I talked about earlier that obviously hit kind of in these spots that maybe you would feel stingers in. And uh, personally, I, I didn't really feel any stingers that were anything out of the ordinary, nothing that would really be a cause for concern. Uh, I know talking to Kaz, when he had used it, he did feel a little bit of something in a couple pucks that he was trying to catch, but uh, again, nothing that is out of the ordinary for any other glove on the market, especially something like this. Uh, so again, a shocking amount of protection from this glove. But the one thing that I will point out is when you start getting pucks down towards here uh, at the cuff, I know personally I did end up getting a puck in this area. I will say there's a little exposed part here at the bottom of the cuff. And when we put the glove on, again, hopefully this is something that we can pick up in the overhead camera. You can kind of see this is where the bottom of your hand is, bottom of your palm. It ends up being a little exposed. 
especially when you're reaching out, the cuff itself ends here and your palm of your hand is kind of almost hanging off the side. So I did end up taking a puck to kind of this part of the cuff and I will say I did feel something, however. <laughs> With the adjustability under the hood of this glove, uh, this foam piece can be adjusted out and um, possibly fix that issue. But when it comes to protection, that was the only possible issue that I could find with the protection of this glove. I know I keep saying it shockingly protective, but I was very impressed with how protective this glove was. And after getting used to catching pucks with this glove, uh, it gobbles pucks. But the closure itself is very different from other gloves. So um, I was told to try catching the puck differently and allowing the puck to hit the pocket and then closing as opposed to the simultaneous. And I will say that traditional catch, like I said, it's that simultaneous close as it's hitting the pocket. The pocket tends to move around a bit. And just the closure in general, like finding the pocket and the first skate with this glove was very different. So uh, that was a bit of issue that I had personally when I was using this glove for the first time, finding the pocket. But uh, once you kind of find it, you let the glove do all the work and you're in business. Again, this is something that uh, you have to get used to, you have to play around with. And once you get used to it, you can kind of let the glove do the work. So anything that just kind of hits this general area, you're going to gobble it up. Now, before we move into puck handling with this glove, another thing that I will say when you're catching pucks, you do get a lot of kickback. And it was something that was noted by Kazmir Kaskasuo uh, when he did his quick little review of the glove. When you're catching pucks, this thing likes to kick back. You'll get a lot of kickback from this thing and it kind of, it almost gives it this like flimsy feel, especially, you know, when you go closing this thing around, you can see it does have a lot of flimsiness to it, but that's, you know, kind of goes back to how thin it is and how light it is. But getting into playing the puck, stick handling. Of course, there's the traditional uh, standard grip when you're playing the puck, holding it like a regular player would. Then there's, of course, there's the Turco grip where you place your hand over on top of the stick. This glove takes the Turco grip maybe to another level, or maybe I could just say it adds another layer to it. Now, like I was talking about earlier, the T folds in, which is a purposeful design of this glove. And then this is where you would grip the stick. Now the stick would fit right in this space here. And it's, it's a pretty big area to wrap around the glove. And I will say you do get more of a tight feel on the stick. I mean, I definitely feel like this is locked in. Definitely a bizarre feeling. But I do feel like I get a good grip here. And it's not difficult to go in into it. Coming out of it, you really gotta emphasize popping that glove back into position. But definitely a very interesting way of handling the puck. And of course, when we talk about coming out of this kind of folded T position, it pops right out. Like all we have to do is kind of open this thing up and we're back to red. But getting back into the closure, something that I kind of forgot to mention earlier is almost how locked, like I'm, I'm not squeezing this. This is just, it kind of gets locked right here. Let's see if I can might See what I mean? Like this glove is locked right now. <laughs> uh, so as far as the closure, like it closes very easy. Um, you, like I said, get that almost locked position. I could take my hand out of this right now. Obviously it didn't work that time. But when we talk about playing the puck, this is how the tee would fold in over the top of your stick. And then it pops right back up. Man, that is locked in there. How wild is that? My hand's not even in there. So yes, this is a very, very unique catch glove from a company out of Slovakia being built by the guys over at Reason Why. And yes, this is still a prototype glove, but we talk about being different from the rest. This absolutely uh, does just that. It's very different from anything that I've ever experienced. 
Uh, you'll have to let me know how you feel about this glove. But yes, this thing has a massive pocket, very thin, very lightweight. There are a lot of options under the hood to kind of make this uh, your own. We have a very easy glove to close and a very extreme break angle uh, at that. And of course, a whole new way to play the puck with this Maxon glove. And oh, by the way, the price, uh, let me pull this up real quick. Not including taxes or shipping, we are looking at a $550 USD price tag. Uh, 750 Canadian. That's the price we're working with here for this very unique Maxon glove. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Would you try this glove? How do you feel about the T folding in to play the puck? And what do you think about the look in general? Definitely uh, something that I've never seen before. So again, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and as always, we'll see you out. I did a good coffee.